How do you get back from the International Space Station? Returning from the ISS is the scariest and riskiest part of the UAE's mission in space. The ISS always has one Soyuz spacecraft stationed to serve as a lifeboat back to Earth. This will be Hazard's ride home. He will be returning on Soyuz MS-12, which docked on the ISS on March 15th, 2019. After eight days in space, he will be returning to Earth with Russian commander Alexei Ovchinin and NASA astronaut Nick Haig. Haig and Ovchinin arrived on MS-12 after surviving a launch abort in October 2018. Hazel will be saying goodbye to the two cosmonauts he ascended with, Oleg Skripochka and Jessica Mayer. The returning spacecraft will undock from the space station at 11.36 a.m. UAE time. Three and a half hours after undocking from the space station, the cosmonauts will be back on Earth in the target area of Zez Kazgan in Kazakhstan, which is about 660 kilometers from the launch site. The re-entry capsule is in three parts. The instrument module, which is responsible for independent guidance, navigation and the control system. The descent module, which is in the middle to house the crew. It has a periscope extending from the capsule, offering a forward view toward the docking mechanism and a downward view for tracking the surface of the Earth. And thirdly, the habitation module with eight small altitude control thrusters. When the re-entry capsule leaves the ISS, it's traveling at approximately 17 and a half thousand kilometers per hour. That's too fast to land. When the Soyuz is around half an orbit from its landing site, the spacecraft makes a braking maneuver, normally conducted near the southern tip of South America. The re-entry module discards the habitation module and the instrument module at an altitude of 140 kilometers over the Arabian Peninsula. They will burn up in the Earth's atmosphere. Around three minutes after the separation of the descent module, the air friction causes the material that protects the capsule to burn, making communication with ground control impossible. The crew is out of reach for over five minutes, by which time they will be 35 kilometers from the Earth's surface. Around 15 minutes before landing, when the capsule is 12 kilometers away, it slows down to a speed of 900 kilometers per hour. The parachutes deploy when it's about 10 kilometers from Earth. At about a meter above the ground, the soft landing rockets are activated, reducing descent speed although Hazza will still feel as though he's been in a car crash.